What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, your home for the 2020 World Series champion Los Angeles Dodgers. Never forget it, okay? Still champs, still champs. But today, I've got a fun conversation, something that has been on my mind, and it is Jimmy Nelson. And does Jimmy Nelson have a chance of making the opening day roster? But not only that, it sent me down a rabbit hole of how insanely, incredibly deep the Dodgers are pitching-wise. So let me start with the obvious before we get into this. Yes, everything I'm about to talk about is spring training, and no, it does not mean all that much. But notice I didn't say it doesn't mean anything. For some guys, this means nothing. Okay, I don't care about Mookie Betts' batting average. He will be fine. But for other guys, I think spring training does mean something, and Jimmy Nelson is the perfect example. He started last night, Tuesday night, through two innings that were honestly remarkable. Again, we're going to get to that, but before we do, let me throw some crazy numbers at you about the Dodger pitching. So far, the Dodgers have had 29 different guys pitch so far this spring. 18 of them have yet to allow a run. They are second in ERA, 2.92. They are first in WHIP, 1.07. And again, yes, before you say it, I know it's spring, but here's what I think it means. To say the Dodgers are deep is a criminal misunderstanding, okay? It's a criminal understatement. I know we say it a lot, but sometimes we forget the names. It's like, oh yeah, the Dodgers are deep. Well, once I had to sit down and predict a 26-man opening day roster, that's when I figured it out. Daniel and I did it Monday night. In my estimation, there were nine guys who are not on my list who I think would make a bunch of opening day rosters around the league, and that's being conservative. I'm not talking about prospects who are a year or two away like Josiah Gray, Michael Grove, Cody Hosey, Bobby Miller, Landon Knack, Andre Jackson, okay? I'm talking about DJ Peters. I'm talking about some pitchers. I mean, just think about the pitchers, okay? I didn't have Jimmy Nelson in my roster, which might change. I didn't have Dennis Santana in my roster, which might change. I didn't have Ryan Pepio who I think Sneaky might be one of the five or six best relievers the Dodgers have right now. It didn't have Garen Clevenger, didn't have Brandon Morrow, didn't have Scott Alexander, okay? It's actually insane when you sit down with the Dodgers roster and try and make a 26-man group work, which brings me to Nelson. First of all, shout out to Nelson, born in Oregon, okay? But this is a guy who is 31 years old, who had 10 appearances at the big league level since 2017. Now, I understand the skepticism. Didn't pitch in 2018, didn't pitch in 2020, 10 starts, not 10 appearances, not good ones in 2019, okay? But let's go back to 2017 just so we can remember the potential, the ceiling. This is a guy who made 29 starts and had a 3.49 ERA. He was fifth in all of Major League Baseball in FIP, which is sort of a predictive measure of ERA, kind of like what did you deserve to have as an ERA in some way. He was fifth, right between Scherzer, who was fourth, and Kershaw, who was sixth, Okay. September of that season, he dives back to first base, destroys his shoulder. I loved reading the LA Times article. They said he he thought he had popped his shoulder out. So he pops it back in. He stays in the game. He throws 17 more pitches, touching 93 miles an hour, all with what he later found out to be a torn rotator cuff and labrum. All right, this guy is tough. He goes 15 months of rehab, comes back in 2019. He struggles. The Dodgers sign him on a one-year deal in 2020. He has back surgery, misses the entire year. Dodgers decline the team option, sign him to a minor league deal. But so far this spring, and yes, I know it's three three innings, but it has been impressive. You begin to see the flashes of 2017 Jimmy Nelson. He's allowed one hit, three strikeouts, but again, it's the stuff. The fastball, touching 96, the breaking ball that guys have no chance on. And so, yes, I know he has limited pitching sort of statistics since 2017, but he's only 31. He's not washed. He's done it before. And remember, this is the Dodgers we're talking about. They are the best at developing guys. They are the best at maximizing guys. And yet, Jimmy Nelson right now is the Dodgers' number eight starter and probably needs to become a reliever in order to make the team. Now, he does have a quirk in his contract where he actually has a couple of weeks after opening the day. The Dodgers can hang on to him. They don't have to decide on him on opening day without um, you know, cutting him or putting him on the major league roster. They've got a couple of weeks. So maybe they can trade him. Maybe they make him a reliever. But at the end of the day, it's just a reminder of how insanely good at managing baseball rosters the Dodgers are. And I'm rooting for Jimmy Nelson. I'm rooting for a guy who has been through a lot, who has fought through it, who the Dodgers clearly believe in. They've signed him now twice and who we've seen the upside. We've seen the potential. So let me know. Do you think Jimmy Nelson deserves a spot on the 26-man opening day roster? And if he does, here's the hard part. Tell me whose spot he takes. We appreciate you watching. Make sure you check out Dodger Blue 1958 on social media everywhere, dodgerblue.com for the latest. And stay tuned here. Make sure you're subscribed and you've got the notifications on. Tomorrow we've got an interview 
with Michael Grove, former second round pick of the Dodgers, dropping, so you do not want to miss that. My name is Jeff Spiegel. We appreciate you watching. As always, Vince Scully taking us home. The best team holding a trophy high in the air. The Los Angeles Dodgers, champions of the baseball world.